Taraji P. Henson, the charismatic and versatile actress, has not only graced the screen with her talent, but also made a mark in the realm of real estate. One of her notable properties is a stunning Spanish-style home in the Hollywood Hills, a residence boasting charm, panoramic views, and luxury features. Not to mention Taraji owns another two-bedroom property in Glendale, California, another home in Hollywood, as well as a sleek condo in Chicago. Let's dive right in for an exclusive look at Taraji's stunning homes and lifestyle fit for a queen. From her breakthrough role in Baby Boy to her iconic portrayal of Cookie Leon in the hit series Empire, Taraji P. Henson has consistently captivated audiences with her talent and magnetic presence. Her ability to breathe life into diverse characters has earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. One notable chapter in Taraji's recent journey involves her role in the stage-to-screen adaptation of The Color Purple. Stepping into the character of Shug Avery, Taraji brought her own brand of charisma and soulful energy to the production, earning accolades for her compelling performance. The color purple provided Taraji with another opportunity to showcase her artistic depth and connect with audiences on an emotional level. Beyond her acting, Taraji has a knack for creating homes as captivating as her on-screen performances. The award-winning actress has crafted a family life that beautifully blends with her career success. Taraji's journey into motherhood began with the birth of her son, Marcel Johnson, in 1994. As a single mother, Taraji navigated the challenges of balancing a budding acting career with the responsibilities of raising a child. Now, inside Taraji's homes reflect her vibrant personality and style. Whether she's sharing snippets of family celebrations, Cozy evenings at home or glimpses of her beloved dog Cable, Taraji likes to provide fans with a window into the heartwarming moments that complement her red carpet persona. No matter who the owner is, sometimes amazing properties just don't sell right away. Even Taraji had trouble selling this beautiful former home in the Hollywood Hills, first listing it in 2015 for over $3 million, but not selling until 2018 for the lower price of $2.35 million. This unique home sits high in the hills and has a Moorish design inspired by North Africa and the Iberian Peninsula, with Moroccan-inspired accents like fireplaces and chandeliers. Taraji acquired the house in 2010 for almost $1.7 million, so either way, she still made a buck on the sale. Built just a year before she bought it, the 4,202 square foot home spans three floors and offers great views of LA. Carved wood double doors under an Arabian arch open to a grand entry hall and a quaint home theater. There are four beds and five baths throughout the residence and the main living areas are actually on the second floor. Here, it's an inviting and open space with double height ceilings, a winding wood staircase, and large windows. There's a sitting area right there beside the center island kitchen with 600 bottle wine cellar, and in the next room, a walkout living room with fireplace and bar. The guest rooms are spread throughout the home, one of which is done up as a celeb style dressing room with mirrored wardrobes, light up vanity, walk-in shoe closet, and bathroom with shampoo bowl. This room's on the top floor where there's also a family room, small office, and Taraji's former master's suite. Listing materials describe the master bedroom as a sanctuary and it boasts a fireplace, a walk-in closet, luxe ensuite, and French doors out to a balcony with city views. A flat grassy yard outside steps up to another grassy area with a built-in seating space and fire pit overlooking Los Angeles, where you'll also find a hot tub. There were two garages here and apparently one was transformed into a space with a powder room and ballet bar with potential to be a full home gym. In 2016, Taraji expanded her real estate empire and bought a $6.4 million villa-style home in the Hollywood Hills. Not much was known about the estate at the time of purchase and it's still kept pretty private, but we were able to find out some of the details. This home sits on over 1.3 acres of land atop a hill 
high above Laurel Canyon, with breathtaking 360 degree views of the city, valley, and ocean. It's in the Hollywood Hills, but from aerial views, we can see her property is super private and secluded. This Spanish house offers 3,188 square feet with three bedrooms and four bathrooms. The photos from the listing are outdated and definitely don't do the place justice, but you can get an idea. There are dark hardwood floors, beam ceilings, and what the listing described as a magnificent kitchen. Now, whoever staged the home, it looked like a bit of a hoarder in some of the rooms, but my best bet is that Taraji made the place her palace. Her estate is super quiet, which is rare and unlike most properties in the Hollywood Hills. You literally have to travel down a long country lane to get to the gated property, which is then further hidden behind hedges. On the property, there's also a private pine forest, so you know it must be big if you have your own woods. From what we know, Taraji's house offers a pool with a waterfall, a cute zen garden, and a meditation deck. Elsewhere, there's even a guest house for additional space, while her master suite opens right up to the gorgeous pool out back. Knowing that Taraji filmed Empire in Chicago, you know she has to have a spot there too. She had sold one apartment in a Gold Coast Tower back in 2017 for nearly $1.5 million, but she still owns a larger unit in the same building. The one that Taraji let go of was a three bed, 2.5 bath condo on the 38th floor, offering an east facing balcony with views of Lake Michigan and the neon lights of the Navy Pier. It spanned just over 2,000 square feet with refinished hardwood floors throughout and a neutral paint scheme. The Windy City apartment also had a wedge shaped living room with fireplace and wall of windows. There was a large dining room, an open plan kitchen with dark granite counters and a custom built master bedroom closet. The one that she snapped up before selling this one is larger and just a few floors below. This newer one cost her about $1.9 million, but since it was an off-market deal, details are scarce. Online resources claim Tarashi Chicago condo has three beds, 3.5 baths, and a window-lined corner living room, as well as 2,500 square feet of space. As Taraji P. Henson keeps going steady in entertainment and beyond, her involvement in real estate underscores her business savvy and diverse success. Juggling her dynamic career with smart property investments, Taraji serves as an inspiration, making a lasting impact in Hollywood and the real estate arena. For now, that'll wrap up today's house tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. If you were living in an upscale condo building, what would be some of your must-have amenities? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and if you would like to tour some more stunning homes, stay tuned for this look into the properties of Tyler Perry. See you all next time, bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tyler Perry isn't exactly known for having subtle tastes when it comes to his real estate portfolio. This multi-talented actor, director, screenwriter, and producer has bought and sold a handful of opulent estates over the years, especially in Los Angeles and Atlanta where his epic Tyler Perry Studios is also located. Considering Tyler is worth an estimated $1 billion he has invested some of that quite wisely in properties with a story to tell, reclaiming land with ties to slavery and racial injustice in the process. While his dream mansion in Atlanta near his custom studio has been in the works for a few years now, perfection does take time, and in the meanwhile, he's called a few other stunning places home too. While Tyler Perry is massively successful today with dozens of movies and eight TV shows on his resume, he didn't have the happiest upbringing to start. Reportedly, his birth name is from Emmett Perry Jr., was named after a father who was abusive and, as he would later find out, was not his real dad, so he changed his name. Tyler was born in New Orleans in 1969 in this three-bedroom home located on Barone Street. The star survived a traumatic childhood full of abuse at the hands of his guardians, even though his mother attempted to keep him safe. Looking at the home Tyler once lived in during his childhood, we can see it's now fully 
renovated and likely looks like a completely different place. Interior photos from when the house was last up for sale show it was remodeled and expanded by the last owner, who actually bought the property from the Perry family in 2013 for just under $150,000. Along with a reconfigured layout in certain common areas like the hallway, there's also an all new kitchen with marble countertops, and the home now even boasts solar paneling on the roof. A swing still hangs from the front porch, overlooking the front garden, which makes the petite home look charming. In 2004, Tyler described in an interview how he would often look out of the front window of his house in New Orleans at the mansion's two blocks north, while two blocks south were the projects, the territory of gangs, drugs, and crime. Being poised between the mansions and poverty became my metaphor for life, he said. Tyler Perry's current home is reportedly still in the works as it has has been for some years now. He bought 1,200 acres of land, and it was reported by TMZ back in 2018 that construction on the mega mansion had begun, with the abode being built in a Gilded Age style. Conveniently for Tyler, this dream home is also only 32 minutes from his sprawling 300 plus acre film studios, so the perfect commute to work. Reports say his mansion will span 35,000 square feet of living space once it's complete, and from aerial views, we can truly see how massive it is. Although we don't know what the home's interiors are looking like just yet, he has plans to turn the property into an organic farm. He wants his son Aman, who he shares with ex-partner Gilila Bikeli, to have an appreciation for land, nature, and animals. And reportedly, they'll have horses and other animals on the farm. Alongside the hulking main house, there also sits a second, smaller structure that could be used as a guest house on Tyler's property. There is even an airport runway which is convenient for the multi-talented star who has in the past once possessed a pilot's license. In October 2019, the hardworking writer posted a video to his social media from his home in LA, it seems, to advertise the fact he'd been live tweeting from the home through his show, The Oval, which he wrote, directed, and produced. That same year, he had given a peek into his kitchen, which is also assumed to be in the LA home, that he's stayed in from time to time while the Atlanta mansion is being constructed. This kitchen, which we got a peek at, is where he was displaying his Oscar trophy at the time when he took home the Gene Hersholt Humanitarian Award. In early 2020, Tyler showed fans he was continuing to be hard at work from home while posting a photo in his writer's room, complete with huge stone fireplace and a roaring fire, leather armchairs, and cozy rug. Tyler Perry Studios is 330 acres in the heart of Atlanta. This was all Fort McPherson Army Base. Nearby his mega mansion in Atlanta is another one of Tyler's big creations, Tyler Perry Studios. In 2015, Tyler announced plans to expand his studio in Atlanta by acquiring Fort McPherson, which served as a Confederate army base during the American Civil War, and expand is exactly what he did. On his new, sprawling 330-acre studio complex in Atlanta, Georgia, you can visit the White House, a classic southern mansion, a lake cabin, and more within minutes. Previously, Tyler's studio was already home to the production of more than 15 movies and over 800 episodes of his TV shows. These days, his studio complex is said to be larger than Disney, Paramount, Sony, and Warner Studios combined. He bought the massive lot for over $30 million after outgrowing the smaller studio only six miles away, and about $250 million more went into restoring the site's 19th century homes and building the rest. Tyler Perry Studios has 12 state-of-the-art sound stages, each named after an African-American in the entertainment industry, production offices, and set. One of the most impressive being a three-story stucco replica of the White House, which Tyler made sure was built to scale. He's using this as a set for his BET drama The Oval, so you already know that there is even an Oval Office film set inside. There are many other impressive sets on the huge complex, like a charming historic residential 
residential district from the south, trailer park, county jail, bank, lakeside cabin, posh theater, farmhouse, chapel, commercial jet, and much more. These are going to act as scenes for Tyler's present in future films and other production companies. Tyler Perry Studios also has 200 extra acres of green space, and Tyler says he's not even close to being finished. He wants to put that land to use. He said, I'm looking to create a six lane highway, or he might want a European style city, adding, you know, something with winding cobblestone streets, we could use it for Paris. Back in 2007, Tyler bought a 17-acre estate in the Paces neighborhood of Buckhead, Atlanta. Paces is said to be the most affluent area in Atlanta, with home prices even reaching upwards of $20 million. Tyler lived in this palace with his family up until 2016, and when he sold it for a massive $17.5 million, it was the biggest sale ever for a private residence in the Georgia capital at the time. The mansion was resold in 2018, this time for $21 million, and with the grandeur and size of this place, it's not hard to see why. Tyler's previous Atlanta estate was 34,688 square feet of living space, but then again, his dream mansion that's in construction will be slightly bigger. This property featured seven beds and 14 baths and was designed as a European style villa with marble floors and huge columns, among other opulent details. Upon entering the home, the foyer has a grand dual staircase with giant chandelier in the middle and looks like something out of a fairy tale. This mansion had a great room, which boasted double height ceilings and glass doors leading out to a balcony. Attached to the chef's kitchen, there's also a more casual living room with vaulted ceilings, a marble fireplace, and open staircase leading to the upper level. The formal dining room in Tyler's former home walks out to the upper balcony and is decorated with wall paintings. There's also a wood paneled study or library and another dramatic library slash office with black chandelier, red accents, and a zebra rug. While also on this level, there's a games room with a wet bar. The master suite's spacious and has a private balcony entry, offering views from all angles. One of the extra bedrooms used to be a spa, so it has a freestanding tub, while a vintage paint job on the walls here makes the room feel medieval. There's also a medieval feel in the mansion's home movie theater, where vaulted ceilings here and in the attached lounge resemble an old cathedral. The theater has seating for 18 and is located on the lower level of the house. Apparently, there's also a resistance pool on this level. Other highlights include a wine cellar, sauna, generator, system that can power the whole estate and a guardhouse. Out back you'll find some guest quarters and layered landscaping, while underneath the tennis courts there is an indoor ballroom complete with catering kitchen and restrooms. Also on the property there's a massive 70,000 gallon infinity pool, all of which is protected by a top of the line security setup and imposing gates. After checking out where Tyler Perry calls home, including what we know about his Atlanta mansion that's being built and his studios, that'll bring today's tour to a close. But before we leave, answer me this. If you could build your own studio and create any movies or shows you wanted, what would be some of the dream sets you would want to create there? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications.